Hello, UFG. Welcome to how to stream with a football scoreboard. First thing you want to do, download OBS if you do not have it. Then you want to go into the description of this video, go on every single website that you need to go on, and then you need to download specific things for the scoreboard like the scoreboard itself. So first thing you want to do, grab that scoreboard image and go to Pixlr. And you're going to click open image, then show all files, and then go to down pictures, go to pictures, and search pictures and search file.web. It'll be file.webp. Click, double click on it, and then click create new. And then go to drawing. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, go to the fill tool and pick the color of the first scoreboard. This is important because then you won't have any trouble, shouldn't at least. So you want to fill it with the same color, just click it a few times and do the same thing for the outside. top bottom sides side okay so it should look like this and then you're going to click the first team color you're going to get a first team color and then you're going to just get like a lighter color and then you're just going to have to fill in all these gaps here and then for the for the sides you see the fill tool will not work because it barely does anything so just Grab a brush, pick the color, make it smaller, like 12, 14 will work. Color, and color this in. So that side's done, now we gotta do this side. Okay, so you fill it and then you get the lighter color. Actually, based on the teams I'm doing, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, there's our scoreboard for now. Then you're going to Open a new tab and search team logo you're doing. So I'm Colts. And then grab an outlined image of their logo. That's just their logo. Add layer image. See how mine has a background, so it's going to be white. So we need to go to remove BG. And just open a file. And there you go. Then you download it. And do the same thing for the other team that you're doing. And you click plus, add layer, image. And then grab the logo. And you put it on the scoreboard. And there you go. Then you click save and you export it, click save as, and just name it something so you don't have to search up file.png. And then go to OBS. Now, once you're in OBS, this is what the scoreboard is going to look like after it's done. Switch that to this side, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So let's create a new scene, name it scoreboard, and then click the plus button, and then go to image, click OK, click browse, 
and then you're going to go to pictures and search your your uh, scoreboard. Then you're going to click OK, and you're going to center it. There you go. That's as centered as I could probably get it. So the next thing you're going to you're going to want to do is full screen this. Press Alt and Tab, and go back to your browser, and then go on Roblox, and get on Football Fusion Two. And you're going to bench yourself, turn your sound off, and then you're just not going to care about this anymore. Then you're going to go back to OBS, click plus, and then click window capture. And then you're going to make sure it's Roblox player beta, and make sure it's under the scoreboard so that the scoreboard shows. Then what you're going to want to do, hold alt and shift, and bring this down. So that the normal FF2 scoreboard is gone, and then make this fill and center it. Alright, next thing you're going to want to do is add the score, obviously. So you're going to get a text and name it score. You can pick any font you want. Personally, I pick Eras Bold ITC. Make it font size 20. You could do anything with this settings. Personally, I just do gradient, and then I make it a dark gray. Alright, and then you do the same exact thing. Plus, text, score, two. And then... Do the same font, same font size, make the text zero, gradient, dark gray, and then try and get these to the same size, and there you go, there's your score, and the next thing you're going to want to do, get another window capture. Go back on Roblox, hold shift, alt and shift, and go up to the scoreboard, and crop it until you see the first down thing only, you see the down only, and to get it perfectly on there, you can just resize it and size it back. And there you go. The next thing you're going to do, get another window capture and just do the same thing. Roblox, hold Alt and Shift, bring this up. This time, go to third quarter. All right, and there you go. There's need one more thing, and that's gonna be the play clock. So you do the same thing: Alt Shift, bring it up.
can drag this down, put it here, make it bigger. And there you go, there's your scoreboard. Now, what you're going to want to do is tab out of this by pressing Alt and Tab. Go back to your browser and go to Canva. And then when you're in Canva, click Logo. And then... You're going to click elements and then you're going to click shapes. Wait, you're going to click, you're going to get a square. And you're going to make it the size of the screen. Make it whatever color. Just not a light color. Make it a darker color. And then grab a circle. Make it like this. Make shit centered. And go down to gradient and make it a gradient. And then what you're going to want to do is click share, download, and then download it. And then once you've done that, go back to OBS. And then add an image. And then add the image to the scoreboard. So how I size this, you want to go all the way until all the red is covering the little oval. And you just put it right there. And then you do the same exact thing. Get it back. This time, you're going to want to flip it and make sure it's the same size by just shrinking it until you cannot see the cylinder anymore. Then put it here. All right, and now whoever has the ball, you can just hide one of these. Now the Patriots have the ball, and when the Patriots like throw an interception, then you hide the Patriots one, and you show the Colts one. All right, the next thing we're going to do is the records of the team. So you're going to go to text, add it. You could name it whatever. I don't really care. Make the text zero and zero, just for, like, whatever. And make the font size 16. You could use whatever font size font you want. Personally, I used band shift light semi condensed. And this is important. You need to make the opacity of this 45%. This will make it look good. All right, there's one record, and then you just got to do the same exact thing again. Make sure it's the same font. Make sure it's the same font size. Make sure that they're both 45% opacity. You don't have to make these the exact same size, just make them similar. And then, last thing you want to do, add text, make it whatever. This is going to be of the league that you're streaming for, so, just for example, I'll use UFG. You could use whatever font, I use Arrows Bold, make it 20. Make it gradient if you want. Then just put it on the scoreboard. And for this one, you can copy and paste it. But for the others, you cannot. 
So there you go. There's your scoreboard.